And we're back. What was I doing last time? Ah, oh, Jesus I Christ. I found the meat land which had not been plundered. Do you know myth, Isis? No. I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing, building temples out of caverns. The Dark Walls being the universe, and inside are its followers. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection, creation. The orbs. You're really creepy. See, I hear machinery. What is this? Oh my god, there's stuff I could potentially do stuff Not with. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves. Or break. They Whoa. Oh. Did I just solve that? I don't know what I just did, but I'm guessing it has something to do with those levers. Now I've started saying levers. Fantastic. What are you doing, Daniel? Getting stuck on invisible objects. Honestly, who do you think you are? Okay, don't look at the walls. Don't look like you're looking at the walls and they're gone. Thank the lord they're gone. I don't like those fucking things. Honest to god, they scare the living shit out of me. Even small ones, like the, the, the tiniest fucking ones, scare the living shit out of me. It's kind of sad. You, you can say that again. What have I done? I solved something, that's what I've done. A slight headache. Phantasma. Okay, still nothing. Just making sure, in case the monster decides to show its goddamn face. And I would hate it for that if it did. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. And how do you plan on doing that? You're just a voice inside my fucking brain. God damn it, they're back. At least a few of them are. Fuck. Thank God they're only in that one room. They were hard to notice at first. What did that even do? I don't understand. Oh. How are things coming? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. And I did, so it's all good. Now I just need to somehow explore all these doors without crapping my pants. Crapping my goddamn pants. Oh shit, I hear movement. Okay, I'm not going here. I have a really bad feeling about this. Like, lift up a hand or something. Nope, did nothing. How phantasmal. Do I have anything I could put on that? No, I don't think so. I think I could put the glass jar on there, so... You never know, but whatever. Transept. Let's do it in the other room first. There's obviously something in that water. That's probably Damn not from. Good to see. Don't care. Violet's a ray of light. Yeah, don't care. Yeah, I don't want to have my light on. Not until I know that there's no monster in sight. I presume this leads somewhere. The choir entrance. What's his face said that there was potentially something in the choir? Whew, there we go. Ooh, a note. <gasps> Ooh, openable stuff. <gasps> a memory thing. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. 
Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this greater order. I have seen them take their father's places, and they will grow too. They too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time but by anguish. Huh. So somehow he made it so he doesn't age. Which I will be honest, sounds depressing. awesome if you could be like five forever and never worry about anything in your life, but... Weya taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and he still insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the world beyond. Weya claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him a gripper first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain to it. I shall prepare for his release. To release a gripper without killing him, Weya told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tempter. Poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The coir seems to be a fertile ground of this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents without the, with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human's victim's blood. I just need to enlarge the mouth, didn't I? Yay. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. Oh, that's fantastic. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the words with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kalnik. Kalnik. I will have to address Weyer with this, as he will have to supply me with a host as a properly prepared well. Also, a properly prepared well should, su will, will, should suffice to contain it. A properly, properly prepared well. Really? 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 That's interesting. Really? Really? Let's go over here to the choir. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of Ladanum. In his frustration, he smashed against the bedpost. Oh, that's always close. Oh, boy. Hi, candles. What's a choir? I mean, I know the term, like, musical choir. But what's a choir? In, like, a building. I get the feeling it has to do with torture. It begun. Is that it? Yeah. Goddamn doors. Okay. Still nothing. A note. Fifteenth of August, what the fuck? thirty-nine. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons. And its cry disarms my actions. Oh, what? No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. What? Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines, take the man, cut the lines! Oh, Jesus Christ, he's insane. Please, the man cries. No quotation marks. Uh, uh. How you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. I'm not going out there. Are you crazy? Is that the only choice I have? Ah, fuck you, Amnesia. 
Fuck you and your fucking fuck fucks. Now I go back. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. <sighs> fuck, man. That would make anyone go fucking crazy. Oh, Jesus Christ, now there's a body. There's two bodies. Antibodies, antibodies, antibodies. Wait, wasn't one of the things about a Vitae? Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. How the fuck? No. Notes. What do I need? So, I need to get the Vitae from probably one of these corpses. Not. Guess not. Darn. I wanted to fuck somebody up. Main hall of the choir. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departures. They are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Just killing you. Where the fuck is it? I don't even know where the fuck is. I can't even see shit. I can't fucking see. Man, fuck this game and its fucking shenanigans. That looks bad. That children is what we call an Iron Maiden. And those things suck. I would personally call it probably the most evil torture device man has ever come up with. I'll be honest, it's probably the most evil. If you don't know what they do, then you won't get it. Because what they do, they stick you in this box. Man-shaped box. <laughs> fucking fuck! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I was explaining something. Why would you do that to me? Now I can't even fucking see. God damn it. Fucking shadow. 
but as you can see, there are a lot of spikes. The forges stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light had made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to- Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they stick you in this box, and it has a shit ton of spikes. And you're expected to stand there. You slip at all, you get hit by a spike. Yeah. That's fucking cruel. Oh my god, is this glowing? No, but I can pick it up. God damn the human race. Why can I not go back here? Okay, Daniel. Hitting invisible boxes again and red lights. Oh my god! Its texture and color are constantly changing. Well, you know what that probably means. Monster! Getting an important piece of something in this game usually means monster time. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Well, that helped my sanity. But I'm guessing it'll go straight back down as soon as I hear the monster's noise. Well, luckily I can actually see now. So I can maybe actually figure out where I'm supposed to go and where I'm not supposed to be going because there's a monster. It's a monster! Actually, I don't know that song. What is that song? It's on like a rock band. That's the only reason I know it. Sadly, I don't know what it is. Okay. Not seeing anything in this red mist. Mist of blood. Deadly mist. Deadly sinners. Deadly sinners. I can't falsetto, especially not quietly. Can anyone actually falsetto quietly? Because that would be a huge skill. Oh my god, I would be jealous as hell. Left or right? Left. Left. Definitely left. Definitely left. So I can find a goddamn good place to hide. I mean, probably going in that door would be a good place to hide. Okay, we have reached another room without a light. Oh, fuck, there's a cow. There's a cow. Please don't kill the cow, I like cows. Where did they already- Oh, Jesus, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh, Christ. The traitor did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter- Oh, it's a bull. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which is the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull below. So this is just another torture device? Really? Why are there so many torture devices? If I, if I do this, do I kill someone? Well, if there was actually someone in there, he died. 
Who is she? Fuck. Poison I'm looking for, or what? The gland from a poisonish mushroom. Nope, did not work. <sighs> one note speaks of three things. Yeah, so I have one of them now. I need the vitae and the tamter. But that's enough for this video, so I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.